This is the dumbest question I've literally ever seen. Did you just <laughs> absolutely yeeted bye that bye, baby? baby. <laughs> Do not soak the stump. Get the scrub daddy. Stick it to my teeth. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a video for you where we are putting our parenting abilities to the test. We're gonna be new parents soon. We need to see if we know what we're supposed to do. I mean, we'll figure it out when they get here, but we have um, a few questions we're gonna go through and then put him through some rigorous tests with our makeshift baby. Oh, if you're not subscribed, please do so now. We have lots of updates coming next week on how, have you no respect? Someone kept texting me. We have lots of updates coming next week on how these babies are doing and growing, so subscribe. Okay, Alecky. Question number one. How many times a day does the average newborn eat? Three meals a day, every four hours, eight to 10 times, or on the hour, every hour? There's I'm gonna options. guess for a brand new baby. Yeah, newborn. Every hour. Eight to 10 times a day because I think every like two to three hours not every hour um when can you start reading to the baby right in away? the womb <laughs> four to six months when they can sit up on their own when they're a year old you're looking right at this answer <laughs> hide it right away I would guess right away yeah oh I'm shocked you got that right what should you use to clean your baby's umbilical cord to clean it mm -hmm. microfiber no. I don't know. <laughs> Rubbing alcohol, nothing. Best to leave it alone. Soap and water or baby shampoo. Oh wait, I wasn't listening. I, I thought that, that was I thought you were telling me the answer. Baby shampoo. No, nothing. Leave it alone. Except it says that doctors do recommend cleaning with alcohol, but most nowadays say to leave the stump alone. Leave that stump. They take weeks to fall out. Stumpy. Dang, it's a long time. Yeah, like phase two of your dad test. First things first, you need to put a diaper on the bear. This is good money now. So just, so springy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What are you doing? Are you joking? No, I, don't, I honestly don't even know how it's supposed to stick. <laughs> <laughs> There's literally, I have no idea how this is sticking. Are you kidding? No. Wait, this comes off. Oh, there we go. There we go. Kind of a little drop crotch. <laughs> Did you get the butt good? Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is the dumbest question I've literally ever seen. Where's the safest place in the car for your newborn to ride? A, the back. On someone's lap in the back seat, in an infant seat, in the front seat facing forward. In an back infant seat, seat backward. In no, wait. Front seat backward. Back seat backward. Yeah. And I think technically the middle seat is safest, but. There you go. I think technically the middle seat is safest, but what should you always bring your wife when she's breastfeeding? A glass uh, of water. A glass of water, a magazine, her favorite beer, or TV remote. Her favorite beer. <laughs> water. Yeah. At what age do most babies sleep through the night? What? This Six months. Right. This says nine months. There's no way. We're getting We're killed over here. Hey, you're not doing good. Your partner is so sleep deprived that she can't see straight. Do you A, call your mother, B, ask your mother-in-law to come visit, C, t offer to take the 2 a.m. feeding, or D, hire a night nurse? Hire. I knew you were gonna say that. I would offer. Stick it to my teeth. <laughs> okay, now I need you to swaddle. Full disclosure, I don't even know how to properly swaddle a baby, so. Ooh, interesting technique. Oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it's legs. <laughs> His toes might get hot. Okay, hold on, I'll redo it. You like that? It looks pretty good. I feel like that's not correct. Hold on, I'm making it sure it's tightened back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah. Alright. Did you just you absolutely <laughs> yeeted bye, that bye, baby? baby. Oh, wait, arm two. Like this. Like this. Dude, that looks so cozy. Oh, he's cozy. How does it lock in? Something like that. Quasimodo. <laughs> True or false, you should never wake a sleeping baby. True. Why would you wake a sleeping baby? No, false. Oh. <laughs> they need their rest. Because they have to be fed enough. And twins, one wakes, you gotta wake the other one up. Get them on a schedule. Yeah. When is the latest that you should eliminate a pacifier? Two years. 
This is saying four years, but I feel like if I saw a four-year-old with a pacifier, mm. it might be questionable to me at this time. True. Haven't been there, done that, but this is saying four. It can start to like mess up their teeth. And you don't want to mess up their teeth. Cost more in the long run. How long do you want to wait until you give your baby a bath? A week. This is saying that you wait till their umbilical cord stump falls off. Could be a few weeks then. You give them a little like towel bath. A little scrub down. Get the scrub daddy. You're not supposed to like soak the stump. Do not soak the stump. <laughs> I think you want to like get their like crevices. A crevice scrub. When do most babies take their first step? A year. Yeah, between 9 and 12 months. I was 10 months old when I started walking. Here's the thing, I think like the day one twin stands, the other twin will stand. And then the day one starts walking, the other starts walking. So let me ask you, what are you most excited for, for having twins? Having little toddlers running around. For the first two years, they're just gonna be. <laughs> watching them just crawl around. You're not just gonna be watching them, you're gonna be chasing, chasing them. them. Okay, well. That was a success. Thank goodness we have some doctor's appointments next week to give you some updates so we don't have to keep thinking of ideas like this. And all my plans went out the window when I had to uh, go on bed rest. Speaking of, I'm gonna go lay down. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Um, hopefully you learned something because we clearly learned a lot. We'll see you guys on Tuesday for the big growth scan update. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.